was born in 1993, I emerged into this world not only incredibly good looking, but during the greatest era in Disney animation history. What Disney fanatics call the Disney Renaissance. A quick history lesson. The Disney Renaissance was a period between 1989 to 1999 when Walt Disney feature animation produced, in my humble opinion, the greatest animated Disney movies of all time. Before the Renaissance was quite the dry spell for Disney, featuring the films The Black Cauldron, The Great Mouse Detective, and Oliver and Company. Movies that we've all seen, but don't remember. However, in 1989, the year of our Disney Lord, everything changed with the release of a movie that spun the Renaissance into motion, The Little Mermaid. Ariel is so hot. Prince Eric is even hotter. Moving on, The Little Mermaid had massive box office and critical success that set the Disney formula that we all know and love today. The rest of the Renaissance is as follows. Warning, side effects include large amounts of nostalgia and an overwhelming feeling to accomplish your dreams and fall in love. Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King. I'm just gonna stop here because this is the best animated movie. Oh, Mufasa. Pocahontas, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, Mulan, and Tarzan. Side note, The Rescuers Down Under came out after The Little Mermaid, but for the sake of this video, and because I don't really care about it, let's pretend it doesn't exist. All of the Disney Renaissance movies follow the typical musical theater format, set in place by the late Howard Ashman and Alan Menken. We begin with an establishing song, usually sung by a chorus, setting up the world we are in. Next is our main character's song about what they want most in the world, followed by our evil villain song about what they want most in the world. Throw in a dash of love, funny side characters, good overcoming evil, and Akuna Matata, you've got yourself a Disney movie! What makes these movies so special is the music. If you hear, look at this stuff, isn't it neat? <laughs> or, I can show you the world, shining, shimmering, splend. <laughs> or, be a man, you must be swift as a co- <laughs> You can't help but sing along. I can confidently say that at least 85% of every kid born between 1988 to the year 2000 can at least sing an entire selection of these Disney songs. It's a fact. But there's an even deeper reason why I adore these movies. They directly shape the person I am today. As a young boy, they taught me about following my dreams even though they seem impossible. They taught me about death and dealing with grief. They taught me to be true to who I am without pretending to be someone else, and that the color of someone's skin or the way they look on the outside simply doesn't matter. It's what's on the inside that counts. Oh, and they taught me girls are so much more badass than guys. It's a fact, guys. Get over it. Now we are in a new era of Disney, with the live-action versions of these movies being developed, such as The Lion King, Aladdin, Mulan, and Beauty and the Beast, which is coming out this week. We'll all go on opening weekend getting a full meal of nostalgia served to us only to leave the theater saying, that wasn't as good as the original. <laughs> Which leads me to ask, do we even need these movies being remade? Do these live action versions tarnish the movies of our childhood? All I can say is that when I have kids, they're going to be introduced to Simba, Jasmine, Mushu, and Mrs. Potts in the best way possible through the animated originals of the Disney Renaissance. Let me know what your favorite movie of the Renaissance is. Do you think we need them being remade? Comment below, share our video, and most of all, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! Thanks for watching Movie!